Security footage showing the moments leading up to the murder of British drummer Lee Rigby has been shown at the trial of his accused killers. The court was told Lee Rigby was the victim of a cowardly crime and the accused pair wanted witnesses to see the consequences of their barbarous act. Sky's Mark White has more. There was some really quite horrific but also compelling video evidence that was shown to the jury throughout the course of the day. Uh, the first is a still image taken from CCTV footage in the moments before Lee Rigby died. Uh, and this shows him just uh, going about his normal business, walking towards the barracks uh, in Woolwich, wearing his Help for Heroes uh, T-shirt and carrying uh, a rucksack, unaware that in uh, a few minutes' time he was going to be uh, knocked down by a car and then of course stabbed to death. This was a very difficult moment for his family seeing him uh, just acting normally. They had to leave court in tears uh, and probably just as well they did because the next images that we will show you is the footage of the car which the Crown claims the defendants were in, a Vauxhall Tigra which is seen driving at speed in artillery place next to the barracks uh, and veering over towards Lee Rigby, uh, knocking him into the air, and he lands a couple of feet in front of the vehicle. Uh, that footage, obviously, we, we stopped before uh, the moment of impact, but it was nonetheless, um, you know, very uh, disturbing to see uh, what was happening there in the video, the fact that this was a young man who was being knocked uh, to the ground by a vehicle travelling at up to 40 miles an hour. We saw these CCTV images of a line of school children, a crocodile of school children, as it was described in court, uh, walking right up almost to the scene where Lee Rigby was being attacked and eyewitnesses who were watching that unfolding horror then ushering the school children away so that they didn't have to witness what they had just seen.